When a vehicle moves, weight is transferred and it can impact the shocks and struts. We'll tell you how next. The suspension and tires handle best when weight transfer from braking isn't sudden. But if a driver makes a quick lane change or comes to a panic stop, the weight of the vehicle is transferred to the suspension. And if that corner of the vehicle has a weak shock or strut, the suspension could rapidly compress. Inside the shock, a piston travels up and down a tube. Wear can occur between the piston and the tube, and over time, oil will pass between the piston and the tube. If the suspension bottoms out, Contact between the piston and the bottom of the tube could occur, damaging the piston and the valving. If a shock is worn, the springs will have to work harder and could wear out sooner, causing ride height and ride problems. Because the struts are part of the suspension, in some situations they wear differently than shocks. If the upper strut mount is binding, the force is transferred through the rod to the strut's body. Inside the strut's body, the rod is supported by the piston and a bushing or bearing at the top of the strut. Wear can be dramatic because the strut has to do the work of the bearing. Instead of the strut bearing turning and pivoting, the piston turns in the strut housing and creates wear. Regular inspection is the only way to determine a shock or strut's condition, and shocks and struts should also be replaced in sets. I'm Maddie Weiner coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.